Hello Virgos, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your love reading. Let's see who's coming in love for you. You love read. And since this is a general message, take what resonates and you what does not resonate. For accurate personal readings, white uh, spells or premium crystals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. We have all crystals that will be intention charged, customized uh, according to your hand size and they will be having strong elastic and we have 100% guaranteed quality crystals available. And you can check out more on my Instagram at ienigma.in and the crystal reels on ienigma.in. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign in Virgo, Spurs, Cross, Watchers. Let's see the messages for you. All the details are given down below in the description box. Okay. Very, like, like, big message. Okay, so we have started with the Seven of Wands energy. And then another card is the High Priestess. All right. And then we're having the Page of Pentacles. We're having the Knight of Swords. Queen, there's someone that is after your life. There's someone that you are in this on and off connection with, but you've never been in a relationship. I don't think so. But there is a lot of confusion over here. I feel you ended a chapter with someone that was just not ready to, you know, um, let their guard down, I feel. And they were not, uh, you know, talking about commitment that much. So because you can waste your time as you had other priorities in your life, you decided to walk away from this person because you felt this is not going to work out. But since the time you started to work on self and let go of this person, I feel they're pretty convinced. They could be Sagittarius, they could be Scorpio, they could be an Aries or a Pisces. But I'm definitely sensing this one thing that this is someone that feels, still feels an energetic pull towards you and is ready to make a different move towards you this time as a new lover so i'm seeing the passion is deep inside in their heart they're still passionate about you this is this person is someone that sees a future with you okay so you're running in this person's mind 24 7 this is not an old relationship this is not a past love this is someone that you know you guys got to meet but there was nothing happening so you were not able to wait so you walked away from the situation that's the person i'm talking to you about Right now, I'm definitely seeing your money game is on point. I'm definitely seeing a lot of growth in, in your income. And you may have blocked this person or somehow there were some misunderstandings. They blocked you. But somewhere, I feel like this is someone that is urge, that has an urge to connect with you on a deeper level. They could have this feeling that you are the one that is their soulmate. Gemini energy. Let me just confirm the death and the eight of swords energy. They could be a slightly older than you. Are you figured out that this person is on a different page? Yes. The reason why you left the situation is because you felt that you were being cheated on. You felt like this person was being manipulative. You felt like this was not an honest connection. You were being, you know, dragged in this situation and you knew there was no future. So you backed away. But that was not the truth. Let me see what the truth was actually. They could be a cancer. The truth is this person was wanting a relationship, but they were not sure that they wanted commitment this soon. So they were keeping things to themselves. They were not telling you energetically that, you know, they were not even physically, verbally telling you that they want this connection. But somewhere deep inside, they were nourishing this, but they were not ready to say that, yes, let's take it forward. You know, that is the reason why you felt like they didn't want this connection, but that was a misunderstanding. So what is going to happen next? Let me see. Knight of Pentacles, the strand. You're still walking away from this person because you've decided to work on yourself because your goals are way more important. Your career is, your profession is way more important than this person. So you have decided to control your feelings and keep walking forward. It's okay. This person loves you, doesn't love you. That's their problem. And if they do care, they will make efforts. So now you've left any kind of baggage over yourself and you've left it on this person. Now it's this person's turn, what they have to do. So you walking away, they can sense you walking away and you literally are back in the game. Like there's a lot of power, like you're power back, you're, there's fire inside of you. It's like no matter how much someone um, takes away from you, you always bring yourself back in the game. Like you're power back and you're energetic and you're full of life. That thing is something that has made this person feel, oh my gosh, this is amusing. Like this, 
Virgo is one of a kind, like they really want to have you because their attraction is going strong, very, very strong. They want to also buy some. I'm hearing something like they might give you a gift, like maybe clothes, um, may buy some something for you that is like apparel or stuff like that. So that's another hint. They can definitely see you enjoying. They can, they're like, oh, whoa, they're not even thinking about me. That's how they're seeing this. They think that this Virgo is not even thinking about me. They're literally living their life, having their own thing going on. Um, intuitively, they feel like you just, you just don't need anyone. You feel so comfortable being with yourself. And I feel like you've released this person. That's how they can see you release this person. Because you've released this person, they want to come. I'm seeing the attraction from this person's end is just getting more and more solid. Like they're getting more and more attracted towards you. They want to vibe with you on the same page. Um, I'm also seeing that this person is ready to make a move towards you regarding wanting to communicate what they feel. Let me see what is this person going to do next. They could be an Aquarius. Yes, they're going to make a communication with you. They will come with fast communication telling you that, hey, you're the one. Or I really want to take a step forward. Now, please clarify the eight of ones and the king of ones they could be strong fire sign this person sees your stable nourishing personality i feel like this this is you Virgo's very stable doing really well financially independent self-confident self-reliant and satisfied in life like very happy and stable energy you're not like you're not crying you're not sulking and you're not like too happy you're very stable like, neutral so this person feels like you're one of a kind and there's something about you that they feel. Also, there's one more thing. They can definitely see your potential in you. They've never found anyone in their life that was as ambitious as you are. They like the fact that you're full of life and you want to do something for yourself. Maybe you earn more than this person. Either ways, I'm seeing they think that they're proud of you because you have the capability to be a better, you know, worker in future, like professional growth. They can see that you're doing well in your profession. So they can watch, they watch you. And this person is waiting for the right time to communicate things to you and tell you that you're someone that they have never met ever before. You're one of a kind. You're so like gentle and you are unaffected by things in short. That's how they see you. Okay. So this person is more of a like, uh, go like you are a go-getter and they're more of like I'm going with life I'm having fun I'm a very casual person this person is very casual and, uh, you know get to to be able to get along with this is someone very easy going but I feel like this is someone that is secretly having problems in their life to be honest their life is not as stable as yours okay they might be going through some um, stress around work some stress around profession I'm not saying they're dependent on your money, but they are coming from a wealthy background. They definitely don't have money issues in their life, but something to do with not being satisfied with their work. This is something that I'm sensing. And that is why this person is uh, or was not focusing on commitment because they are not financially satisfied with themselves. That's what I'm seeing. They're proud of you in that way. I'm definitely seeing that this person is going to receive inheritance like sudden wealth and family their family is extremely supportive this is someone that keeps playing the messages again and again keep going through the messages text messages that you've shared in the past again and again this is someone that feels like maybe i think i should now think about commitment because it's it's uh it's high time that i'm also you know getting old and i should think about settling down you're the person that they, they think about settling down with let me see Pay attention to the red flags. There is something not okay with this person. That is why you're like, oh, I don't trust them. Okay, maybe um, you came to know that this person has children. They never told you or they're still going through a divorce. Let me see the red flags first of all. Please clarify the red flags. Yes, there is a third party in the picture. That is the only real reason why things didn't work out. And this person does have feelings for you. But somehow they have to, they need to connect with the third person. They could be married. 
there's a very strong energy and they're not happy in it so they're coming out of that marriage or this person after a divorce they're still linked with that other person but they're feeling like helpless maybe because they have a child and they need the other person's uh, equal support uh, financially so there's a lot that this person is unable to you know work things out so expects you to understand because maybe i'm sensing this is definitely a new person okay this is a, a new love and they're making efforts and universe is also asking you to make efforts but the problem over here is maybe their children is not are not okay with it or uh, they're still linked to the third party because of um, some responsibilities that they need to share with the third party so that is the thing but here you definitely should look for something that makes you feel comfortable because this is this one thing might not make you comfortable for a long time so you should be focusing on you okay if the love is insufficient then you can think of making a decision with someone else but if you're okay with this uh thing going on then you're definitely lovable this person really really loves wanting to be with you there is a commitment coming in i feel this is someone that is definitely wanting to give you an expensive i'm hearing watch i don't know clothes watch like this person does want to pamper you like you're their child or something they really care about you but there's some you know underlying stress that they're not able to talk about okay and that comes off as red flags i'm seeing a proposal is 100 percent coming from this person but something is binding them and that is their society they're living in the community that they're coming from that is binding them okay oh please yeah if you can trust this person, they'll definitely change things for you. I'm seeing the connection is going to evolve. If you guys can, you know, if this is not a big issue for you, then you can trust this person because they're working on the change. Like they're working on bringing that change in their life that they're heavily wanting. Because this, you're dealing with someone that is having two options and they don't know which way to go. Because one, they have kids or they have some other like money related dependencies. It could be anything. Another is you and they don't want to lose anything. So here I'm seeing that this person is in crossroads. And if you can be by this person's side when they are in crossroads, they will be able to manage the change though able to bring the change however i'm seeing the attraction is so strong that you guys may get into it i'm seeing things are going to get juicy between the two of you uh very exciting between the two of you so get ready for that practice makes the man perfect so over here in this connection there is a need for you to continue to trust this person and work on things this connection is not going to be easy but this connection definitely has a huge potential if you're ready to work on things both of you together this person has this fear that they might be disappointing you that could one of be one of the reasons why they're you know um letting things go but here you have to let them know if you really want them community again you can see there is there's just no lies universe never lies like it's not me it's the universe that's telling you seven and eight the reason why on what is coming between you guys is uh how people are gonna see this okay they're bound with community i'm also sensing one more thing that this person is someone from your own community this is also another message that i get okay yes let them know what you feel let them know what bothers you and clear quartz is going to help you in this let me confirm the signs the signs could be any guys but these are some of the signs that could be here sagittarius taurus and then we're having capricorn these are the most probable signs and let me see what advice can i offer you in this situation the advice is you have the power to change the whole scenario between you and this person and manifest this person for lifetime. But here you need to put efforts. Now, please clarify the community card. Yes, the community is acting like a roadblocker. And the, this is, the community is the reason why things are just so depressing or not working out between the two of you. Because the community, the, the, the people that they're surrounded with is acting like uh 
the deceiver, the major disappointment for you. Okay. Let me see the advice, like more sound advice. Trust if this person says they want to be with you, which they are going to say. Trust in this process and don't make false uh, narratives or don't make false judgments and let this person like do what they're wanting to do to make things work out between the two of you. This is someone that's going to be very, very loving towards. You're going to manifest this person as a miracle. Yes, definitely. This is going to happen. Okay, so trust in the miracle. This is going to happen. Let's see, Virgos, any other advice for you, priestess? You had that power to use your intuition and call on the universe to attract you whatever you want because you have that power. So maybe through these prayers, maybe through your own techniques, but I'm definitely seeing a law of attraction is um, coming in your favor. You have to, if you really want someone, you can manifest that person easily through different means. So this is what I'm seeing over here. Okay. Let me see more about this person. Yeah, they're going to speak their heart out. Let me know when. Someone that is crushing over you like any. This person knows that you have had a lot of expectations from them and they've disappointed you. They feel bad. So this person is someone that wants to fix things and coming towards you. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Energy. Yeah, they're coming with a major change. Major shift is coming, okay? This person's going to change the whole scenario between the two of you. Okay, they're coming with that change. And yes, this is someone that's falling in love or will fall in. This is a person you will be in love with. This is a person for you guys. Truly. It's not going to be easy, but you're that person where they find that peace and harmony that they've never got with anybody else. They're going to offer you their whole heart. Just, just wait and watch. This person is going to offer you their whole heart. And this is someone that's going to make ample efforts to win you. Okay, this person is ready to beat all challenges if, if you will trust this person because you really need your support in this. But there are challenges. There are a lot of challenges in this person's life. Okay, and they have kid. This is also an additional maybe message for you guys. So they're trying to work on this connection because there's one thing that is um, ha being highlighted in this Virgo read is there's a lot of passion this person has for you. And that passion is going to make this person go crazy for you and do anything that they can to have you in their lives. And that, that's what I'm seeing over here. See, again, there's an intense passion. The attraction that they have for you, it's just like they're not able to express. And this is turning into love. Definitely turning into love. This is pure. This is pure relationship. And this is backed with a lot of adventures and fun. This person is someone that really wants to have fun with you and also fall in love with you and be with you forever. So what is the most probable outcome over here? The devil. There is an energy of the third party coming between you and them. You have to face this. Like It's going to be tough at times. You might feel left out as well. Uh, I'm seeing it's going to affect your, you know, dignity, I would say. Many times the third party is going to be extremely negative. But then if you stick around with holding on to things, you're definitely going to manifest this person. I feel like you might give up on the last stage. It's also possible. Capricorn energy around. Yes. So you guys, there's a very strong possibility of coming together, but there's also, oh yes, see? So things are gonna work out, for sure. There is a happy ending over here with the justice, with the 10 of cups or with the lovers. They could be a Gemini, they could be a Libra. But yeah, if you stick to this person, if you hold on to them and not give up in the end, I'm definitely seeing you guys coming together. So this is a soulmate bond, but there's a lot of interference of the community and the third party. So that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful read. Thank you for your time. Well, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to I Enigma.